Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm one of the captains here at the Los Angeles Maritime Institute, and today we're going to be talking about mechanical advantage and pulleys. Mechanical advantage is taking moving parts to make something easier. Specifically, in this instance, we're going to be lifting heavy objects with pulleys. So this is a pulley. It has a ridged wheel and a pin that goes through the center of it. And so you can take a line and put it over the ridges of the wheel. And when you pull, notice how the pulley is going up and down, but it's still, it's going to want to slip off. Right, it's not super secure. So on a boat, we use what's called a block, and this allows us to take the line and put it through without the pulley moving anywhere on us, like so. Here on board the Irving Johnson, we use pulleys to help us raise our heavy sails, also other objects like our anchor. But you'll see pulleys all around the world in cranes, gym equipment, window blinds, and elevators. Before we get started, we need to talk about some basic principles of physics. All units we use will be converted to standard scientific units like meters and kilograms. Here are some helpful conversion rates you can use. One foot equals 12 inches, and one inch equals 0 0.0254 meters. One pound equals 0.454 kilograms. Newton's second law of physics states that force equals mass times acceleration. We're going to use Sam to help demonstrate the practical applications of this law. Since we know that Sam's mass is 81.6 kilograms and his acceleration due to gravity is a constant 9.8 meters per second squared here on Earth, we know that the force needed to lift Sam is 800 kilogram meters per second squared. One kilogram meter per second squared is the same as one newton, so we can just say that the force to lift Sam is 800 newtons. If we want to move Sam a distance, we need to bring in a second equation. Work equals force times distance. So if I want to lift Sam 1 meter, the work needed is 800 newton meters. For a pulley system, we can rewrite this work equation as the input force times the input distance equals the output force times the output distance, where the output force is the force of Sam, and the output distance is how high I want to lift Sam. The input force is how much force I must put in, and the input distance is how much line I have to pull. Now we're going to try to put pulleys into action. So we're going to try to lift our deckhand Sam here with a single line going up to a single pulley all the way up the mast. All right, you ready, Sam? Aye, sir. <laughs> that single pulley is not going to make it easier to lift Sam. What it, all it does is it changes the direction that I'm pulling. So you see, I can pull down and Sam will go up. So that is the point of that pulley up there. It is not making the work any easier for me. So that didn't work because I cannot exert the force necessary to lift Sam by myself. So let's try a different pulley system. So here we have a fixed pulley and we have a pulley that will actually move with Sam as it goes up and down. Notice how now we have two lines instead of just one supporting Sam and there's two different pulleys. Each line is going to share the load of Sam, and as I pull, it should theoretically be twice as easy for me to lift him. But what that means is I'm going to have to pull twice as much line through the entire system. We're going to have Sam measure here at our output distance, which is... Roughly 4 feet and 7 inches. 4 feet 7 inches. So that's 1.4 meters. Now if I put my hand here to mark the starting point, we're going to measure the input distance. Which, if our theory holds, will be double our output distance. So what do you get for that, Sam? Yep, four feet, seven inches. Times two, which, and that's gonna give us in meters, oh, about 2.8 meters. The equation we can use for this is the input force times the input distance equals the output force times the output distance. And you'll see, I will be able to lift Sam. We know that the output force, or the force to lift Sam, is 800 newtons, and the output distance is 1.4 meters, which is how far Sam actually rises. The input distance is 2.8 meters, which is how much I have to pull. Now with the known values we've given you, try to solve for the input force, which is the amount of force I had to put in to lift Sam. So we're back where we started, but this time, instead of just having one pulley, we have five pulleys. So now I have five times the mechanical advantage that I had to start, which means it'll be five times as easy for me to lift Sam, but I'm going to have to pull 
five times as much line. But I think I can lift Sam with one hand now instead of having to put my full body weight into it. So let's try. Using the equations mentioned in this video, calculate how much force I have to put in to lift Sam and how much line I have to pull if I lift it in five meters. Thanks for watching our introduction to pulleys and physics. Check out our YouTube page for more STEM lessons and go to lammytopsail.org for more information on our educational sales. We hope to see you on board soon.